Okay, I've got a couple of preforms here. Uh, since I wasn't able to film the other Edwards point, I'm going to go ahead and try to make an Edwards point out of one of these. I'll be using this uh, notching tool. It's made of antler. It's a tine. It's a flat tine. It's just been made flatter. And um, it's white tailed deer. And all I'll be doing is I'll be using a pressure flaking technique to drive the notches inward. And on the Edwards point, they're very deep. And I'll be using a technique that I saw uh, a guy named Swoos uh, do in a video, uh, which is strictly pressure. Uh, I'm not going to use indirect to notch these like I usually do. This uh, Swoos pressure technique works pretty, works very well actually, especially on heat treated stone. All you do is you. You uh, press the uh, flat edge against the stone, uh, making it bite into the stone, and then push inward and then downward and wait for the uh, flake to release. You can hear it pop. It didn't take off very much, but you can hear when you can hear the pop when the flake releases. And sometimes it requires quite a bit of pressure. If you find yourself applying too much pressure, that means it's uh, starting to stall out. You may have to widen the notch to keep going. Sometimes I'll just set the tool on top and then drag it down to peel off the flake. But the swoosh technique is you press it against the sharp edge and then push inward and then downward. And you can hear when that flake pops. And you just flip it over and keep going. One thing to keep in mind is that the opening to your notch has to be small, has to be larger than the tool width. I'll be driving these flakes pretty far in, so I got to make sure I have enough room for the tool, or I'll just snap off these uh, projections. The important thing is to maintain a sharp edge as you're going in so it won't stall. 